The thing that I don't like is the aftertaste. It's pretty horrible. It has that... It tastes like I just drank some medicine and then water really quick behind it. If that makes any sense, it has that little flavor in my mouth where it's like I just took some medicine and drank some water to try to cover up the nasty medicine taste. It says it has 25 milligrams of caffeine, which equals a cup of green tea. Now, I'm not a fan of green tea, so I don't, and I've tasted it before, I don't really like it. 25 milligrams is really, really low on the caffeine level. Because you could go get you probably a Coca-Cola or a Pepsi, and they're going to have about 60 milligrams of caffeine in that. So, a soda, an average soda is going to have more caffeine than this thing. But it's going to, this is going to be more towards basing all the other ingredients in there that is not as bad for you as if you sit there and drink a Coca-Cola. So, it's not necessarily something that I would go back and revisit. It's better than about 75% of the energy drinks out there. It tastes better, but it's not the best. It's, uh, I, I would never buy it again personally, but that I, I try to stay away from energy drinks. It's bad enough that I do reviews on them. Most of them I take three or four sips and they end up pouring it down the drain because I don't like it, don't want it, and my family doesn't like them. So, I guess if you're wanting to have some type of a, of a energy drink after you work out, as it says, a recovery, not necessarily heavy on the caffeine side, and it's not bad for you, then maybe you should go check one of these out. But if you're just wanting a, just a quick boost of energy, I might not be the one for you. And if you're looking for taste, might not be the best choice, but by far not the worst. Well, that's it for today. Just remember, whatever you do in life, keep it hardcore. Yeah.